at that time, Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva Mahasattva granted the insignia to the great powerful Asura king. In the future you will become a Buddha, named Auspiciousness thus come one, one worthy of offerings, one of proper and pervasive knowledge, one perfect in clarity and practice, well gone one, knower of the secular world, unsurpassed one, taming and subduing hero, teacher of gods and humans, Buddha, world-honored one. At that time you will achieve total retention door of six words great enlightenment and all the sentient beings now and here asura king you will save and ferry all of them so that all the sentient beings in your buddha worlds will never hear of the sound of greed anger or ignorance Having heard the prediction, the great powerful Asura king held a pearl necklace worth hundreds of thousands of gold and hundreds of thousands of ten thousands of heavenly crowns and ear ornaments adorned with various wonderful treasures and offered them up to the Bodhisattva, saying, Please show your mercy and accept them. Then Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva Mahasattva said to the powerful king, Now I will speak Dharma for you. You should listen attentively and ponder it. A living being is impermanent, is an illusory transformation, and it is difficult for him to keep his life lasting for long. You people are always thinking of and are greedy for great fortunes, love to have slaves and underlings, so as to patties, wheat, storehouses, great precious deposits, etc. You are often attached to your parents, wives, children, relatives, and so on. Though you are always attached to those things, they are just like what you visualize in the dream. When you are about to die, none of them can save you and make you avoid the death and keep living in this southern continent, Jambudvaipa? Due to such inversion, after the person's death, they will see the great Nye River, with full of pus and blood flowing, and see huge trees with raging fire burning firely. Having seen these things, they will be frightened, and then Yama jailers will truss them up with ropes, and will be pulling them hastily along a wide road of blades. On raising and putting down the feet, they will be scratched, stabbed or cut, and innumerable black eagles, carara birds, and fierce dogs will eat the flesh. They would also suffer from extreme afflictions in the great hells. On the bladed great road for the walking, there are also many thorns, which are sixteen finger joints in length. In each step, five hundred thorns thrust into the feet, which make the persons cry and sob sorrowfully, saying, We sentient beings commit sinful karma all because of love or desire. Now we are suffering from the great affliction. What can we do? The Yama jailers then would say, From the past you have never given any food to monks, have never heard the sound of dharma drums, and have never circumambulated the towers or the statues. Then the criminals would say to the Yama jailers, Due to our sins and obstacles we did not understand, believe in, or respect to the Buddhas, the Dharmas, and the Sanghas, but always kept ourselves away from them. The jailers would say, Because of the evil karma that you yourselves have committed, now you get this suffering retribution. The jailers then will bring the criminals to where Yama King is. Having reached there, Yama King will say, Bring them to the places of karma retributions. Then the Yama jailers will drive and lead the criminals to where the black rope great hell is, and throw the criminals one by one into the hell. Having been thrown into the hell, the body of each of the criminals will be thrust by one hundred spears, but they will not die. And then... Two hundred big spears will thrust the body of each of them, but they will still be alive. And then three hundred huge spears will synchronously thrust the body of each of them, and they also will not die. Having recovered, they will then be thrown into a huge fire pit, and they will also not die. 
Then the jailers will put some hot iron balls into their mouths and make them ingest the balls, which will make their lip, teeth, gums, mandibles, and throats completely burnt out, make their hearts, intestines, and stomachs fired boiling, and make their whole bodies burnt out. When suffering from such afflictions, no one can save them, so you should know it. Now I have spoken Dharma for you. You people should diligently cultivate blessings. Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva said to the great powerful Asura king, I now wish to go to Jedigrove Garden. Today there is a great congregation.' 